The University of California, Santa Cruz, is a unique university within the UC system. Many universities house and welcome fraternities and sororities. However, here in UC Santa Cruz, these Greek organizations seem to go unnoticed. Do they hold themselves with integrity? Or are they just statistics of Hollywood movies and TV shows? Today, I visited the Corion campus to get the opinions of what students thought about Greek organizations here. I, don't know, I think it's something um, that people can be a part of if they want to. I'm not a part of it. I don't feel like I'm missing out. And if it adds to their life, it, it benefits them, I guess. Uh, my roommate freshman year was pledging a sorority. And yeah. there are things like things she had to do that I didn't really understand what the importance of it was. So for me, uh, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I think they're really good for people who like want to be in a social environment for making friends. So I think they're like a catalyst for making a lot of like social friendships. I'm not in one. I don't really want to be in one. Wouldn't want to just like be hanging out with dudes all the time. But you know, for some people it works. For some people it doesn't. She was required to like do physical training at like 2 a.m. in the morning on like Monday nights and. Um, like come up with skits and dances and uh, study like all of the like, founding people and the years and then if they didn't get them right she would have to like carry like a brick or something and she would have to do that the whole entire quarter and uh, I'm pretty fine with my dorm friends at this point. Our position on gender that having sororities and fraternities would deny certain people the uh, you know, comfortableness of joining them. To get a real sense of Greek life here on campus, I was invited to a dinner hosted by Sigma Phi Zeta. Tonight, they are holding their sixth annual Thanksgiving dinner. In attendance are their active members, alumni, potential members, and the president, Oliver Glasser, who gave me a brief history on how their frat was founded. Spring quarter of 2001, a group of friends got together and um, they realized that uh, the uh, Latino males uh, particularly on this campus weren't very well represented um, and and they got together and they banded this group uh, that they called Nuevos Hermanos which uh, translates to New Brothers and um, from there they, they kept uh, they kept growing more and more interest eventually they decided they wanted to become a uh, fraternity. Community service is a high priority within Sigma Phi Zeta. Here Michael Fernandez describes how they give back to their community. One thing we do for the environment is beach cleanup. We try to do that every quarter, every three months. We go to uh, the beach at Seabright and we pick up litter, uh, plastics, anything we can. Many alumni have returned to show their brothers what the frat has done for them and how successful they have become after college. Uh, right now, I currently uh, just started my first business and the pursuits of starting my second. A stereotype many people have for fraternities is that they are not diverse enough. Sigma Phi Zeta proves that theory wrong. Uh, we're multicultural. We have people from a lot of nations, mainly Latin America, but we have a diverse group from Nicaragua, Mexico, Guatemala. Sigma Phi Zeta represents over 20 different nations. That, that's how diverse a group we are. Um, we, we speak uh, several languages, English, Spanish, uh, Vietnamese, um, I believe some of us speak German as well, so, and Chinese actually. So I mean we, we come uh, from all different walks of life and uh, we, we find common ground uh, with, these, with these letters here and um, you know in this brother, brotherhood. Attending tonight's dinner certainly changed my perception on fraternities here on campus. Sigma Phi Zeta, like I said, is a young organization. We're only six and a half years old. And, um, you know, we're, we have gone through a lot of tough times, and we, we have yet to go through many more. But uh, we're here, uh, you know, as brothers, we're here to back each other up in whatever we do. Um, and we know that uh, through our, our strong membership and uh, our dreams and aspirations and stuff, we can, you know, back each other up and make sure that we're able to accomplish our goals and um, accomplish those endeavors that we have it set in mind and you know make our make our families proud make our parents proud that that we came to university and we stayed in school we succeeded 
And you know, we were part of this organization as well that uh, helped us through it all. And you know, the older guys will help the younger guys. So then when the younger guys become the older guys, they'll be able to help the next generation of C15 Davis. Getting an understanding of the brothers of this fraternity, seeing how they give back to the community, and even treating me equally dispels the myths and stereotypes that I was told before entering college. This is Jeremiah Jimeno reporting from Merrill College. Peace.